You worked too hard, you ate too much, the cheesecake made you greedy. Let your aching head and stomach hear this message from old Speedy. Alka-Seltzer, plop, plop, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz, oh, what a relief it is. So Speedy. All right, now why exactly is Power Selling Pros showing you an Alka-Seltzer ad from 1976? I'll tell you why. I'm Zach Garside. I'm the head of marketing here at Power Selling Pros. And what you're watching right now is a five minute webinar. And it's only five minutes because everybody else does webinars that last like 60 to 90 minutes. So you're not paying attention. You have to jump off early or you forget everything that they talked about in 90 minutes a week later. So we're gonna keep this to five minutes, short and sweet. I only got four minutes left. And I'm doing this as I walk around my house as opposed to in my office with some slides to flip through for, again, 90 minutes, because again, that's what everyone else does. And I wanna do something a little bit different. I guarantee you have not watched a five minute webinar where a confused millennial walks around his house talking about Alka-Seltzer. Now here's where the Alka-Seltzer part is relevant. Back in the, in the 1970s, Alka-Seltzer was trying to grow their business. They wanted to increase sales. So they came up with all sorts of strategies and ideas, different ways that they might be able to do it. But it was plop, plop, fizz, fizz that made the difference. It was plop, plop, fizz, fizz that doubled the sales of the company because plop, plop, fizz, fizz implied that you need two Alka-Seltzers instead of one to get rid of the heartburn. Plop, plop. It wasn't plop, it was plop, plop. So they literally doubled sales with plop, plop, fizz, fizz. That's incredible because today, the way that most experts tell you you need to grow is by copying their formula. It's by using their framework, how they scaled from 1 million to 10 million to 20 to 50 to 100 million dollars. All you gotta do is sign up for their program, pay for their training, follow their framework and their scripts and their process, and you'll experience the same kind of growth. Now I'm not saying that those things are not good. We partner with a lot of companies that do that and you can actually get a ton from those programs. But what happens when everyone else does the same thing? What happens when all of your competitors also sign up for the same expert process? When they also try to scale their business the same way that you are? You're no longer different at that point. You're doing the same thing everyone else is doing. I say all this to imply that the way a home service business is going to grow in the future, the way that we're seeing the best grow right now, is through extraordinary creativity. It's by coming up with your own version of plop, plop, fizz, fizz. We've seen AC companies that send their technicians out to a customer's home in lab coats. It's memorable, it's different. We have seen companies that have their CSRs send handwritten notes to customers when they do repeat business or sign up for a service agreement. We've seen companies who start YouTube channels to show their customers how to do certain projects themselves. They started podcasts. They do events in their communities. They've got creative slogans and websites, things that are different, things that cannot be copied or duplicated by somebody else, things that have never been done before. And that is what I want to invite you to do on this five minute webinar. I invite you and your team to get together and figure out what is your plop, plop, fizz, fizz? What are you and your people doing in your marketing? And when you answer the phone, and when you go to the customer's home, when you send them an invoice, what are you doing to be different? Are you using video? Nobody else uses video. Are you using video to get the attention of your customers? Are you creating a podcast? Are you creating a YouTube channel? Go back to old school yellow pages. Do something different to get the attention of your customers. It's fine to follow all the scripts and the processes and the frameworks that other contractors have used, but it's the creativity. It's being a little bit different from everyone else. It's, it's, being, it's giving your customers the ability to say, yeah, a technician came to work on my AC and the guy was wearing a lab coat. Or I talked to a CSR on the phone and she had the cutest, slow, she had the cutest way of answering the phone. Or the guy who answered my phone call had this amazing greeting that just put a smile on my face. It's those creative differences that will set you apart from everyone else. We're at four minutes and 57 seconds. 58, we'll see you later, guys. Go and be creative.